The calorie challenge you're about to watch was one of the most insane things I've ever done in my life. No, but really. Oh my goodness. This is by far one of the craziest challenges I've ever done. For your own sake, do not attempt to reenact anything you're about to witness. Now, what happens when an absolute moron with a 14 pound stomach capacity decides to eat as many calories as he possibly can in a day? Time to find out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need the Pepto too. World's healthiest grocery haul. Tomorrow is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. It's time to do what I do best. I'm pretty good at running, but I'm better at eating. All right, everybody, we have our deliciousness on the table. It's time for yet again, another insane calorie challenge. I hope you're all ready for this one because this is about to get very, very intense. A few weeks ago, I did the as many calories as possible challenge in 60 minutes, and I ended up hitting a new personal record at just over 23,000 calories. As I said in that video, I am prepping for something huge, something gigantic this year. So in this challenge, I'm attempting to take down as many calories as possible in eight hours. I've never attempted to take down as many calories as possible in eight hours before. The only thing I've ever attempted that's somewhat close to that is what I did in the 100,000 calorie challenge. In that challenge, I took down just about 34,000 calories in six hours. So today, my goal is to be able to beat that number. Every food that I eat today is going to be either incredibly calorie dense or it's gonna be a vessel for something calorie dense. If you don't know what I mean by that, you're gonna find out in just a few seconds. But anyways, everyone, meal one is looking absolutely amazing. I got some Frosted Flakes right here, some Pop-Tarts, some Reese's Puffs, some Cap'n Crunch cereal treats, some peanut butter, some cinnamon rolls, which are looking absolutely amazing. And then I whipped up some delicious brown sugar butter right here. This is gonna come in very, very handy for what I've got going on today because I'm gonna have to get in as many calorie dense foods as possible, and this is just the perfect way to do it. I've also got some other goodies as well, but we'll get into that in just a few seconds. Oh, and before I get into this challenge, I'm about to eat an absurd amount of calories. Let's get a pre-challenge weight. Anyways, everyone, I'm ready to get this challenge officially started. Without further ado, everyone, this is meal number one of me attempting to eat as many calories as possible in eight hours. Let's do this. First things first, gotta get my liquid calories assembled. Everyone, liquid calories are gonna come in very handy today, so I made sure I got some full fat oat milk, extra creamy. I could have gotten regular milk, but I'm gonna try to minimize dairy as much as I can this early in the challenge. I think I'm gonna start with my cereal bars first. Damn, this one's 90 calories. Should've read that label better. Actually, before I get started though, I need to show you all the date and time. All right, so as you can see right there, 11.56. What day is it today? May 3rd. All right, everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, one. Boom. Let's do this. Now it's really time to get this party started. Cereal bars are down. So far, it's going absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think next we gotta just get on over to these cinnamon rolls right here. I could eat these just like regular cinnamon rolls, but this is a calorie challenge. You guys know what I gotta do. Step one, add more icing to your already iced cinnamon roll. Step three. Step three, peanut butter. And step number four, just toss on some caramel syrup, just like so. There we go. W. Oh, W. Okay, I'm gonna start making that way on this peanut butter. All right, so we're about 10 minutes in. Time for me to try out this brown sugar butter that I made. As you can probably tell, I love cinnamon sugar. Bro. Cinnamon rolls are down. 
Oh, wow, those are good. I think I'm gonna move on over to my cereal. Yeah, I gotta get some more. So as you can see, our bottom layer is Reese's Puffs. Top layer, Frosted Flakes. That was something I did a few weeks ago, which is absolutely amazing and also very, very calorie dense. It was me adding half and half to my cereal. So that's what I'm gonna do today. All I'm gonna say is that this combo is legendary. with our cereal. 20 minutes in. All right, everybody. Well, our massive bowl of cereal is down. Whew. I have some more Reese's Puffs and Frosted Flakes, but yeah. Oh, well. You already knew what was gonna happen. Come on. Strawberry Pop-Tarts and peanut butter. It's like a PB and J. So good. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, some bacon. All right, bacon and this peanut butter are down. Oh man. All right, everybody, well, I think that's gonna be it for meal. Number one, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a food list of everything consumed for each meal right along the side for you all to, to see, so you know exactly how many calories is in what and what my progress is. And like usual, I'm gonna put the total calories consumed for each meal right up there or right there somewhere, along with the total macros as well. So that took us about 32 minutes, 31 minutes, whatever. And it is still May 3rd. Now everyone, it's time for me to do the second thing that I do best, carb cycling. Those cinnamon rolls were definitely the wrong choice. Ugh. All right, the bike ride's all done. That was rough. Now it's time to get to meal number two. I've realized over the years that when it comes to extreme calorie challenges like this, liquid calories are my best friend. For meal number two, I decided to make this high calorie shake with coconut oil, peanut butter, and almond milk. These high calorie shakes are digested a lot quicker and they also help keep my calories high, which is exactly what I need. All right, everybody. So here we are. It is time for meal number two. I was actually not even gonna do a second meal and just do two meals for this entire challenge, but I decided I wanna try a little something different. All right, so here we are. So right now it's currently 3.22, still the same day. We have about four and a half hours left. For meal number two, I'm not gonna be going too crazy. I'm just trying to get some easier calories in. So I got some macadamia nuts over here. Also have some all new crunchy cookie M&Ms. Then I have some cookie butter, some Oreos, and some Hostess cupcakes. And then these shakes right here, which are gonna come in very useful for getting easy calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there and the total macros for this meal will be right up there as well. Without further ado, everybody, it's time to get to meal number two. I'll pick that up later. And here we You know what I'm having. These shakes are very rich. Oh man, cookie butters. Also very rich. All right, now I think I'm gonna get into these crunchy cookie M&Ms. Let's see how these bad boys are gonna taste. I mean, they look like regular M&Ms. I'm gonna give you guys an accurate rating here after thousands of calories of junk foods already been in my body. 
Oh okay. god, that tastes like a crunchy cookie. Eight out of ten. Not bad. I mean, these are good, but nothing touches the chocolate peanut butter M&Ms. Mm. All right, M&Ms are down. First shake is down. Yeah, it's down. I think I'm gonna get on over to this macadamia nuts right here. Because everyone's gonna watch this video and be like, Eric. Try doing that with healthy food. You know what? Fine. All right, let's get some healthy fats in. Healthy fats. I've always wanted to see like how many nuts I could eat. That came out that came out wrong. I'm at like for a food challenge. Like how many almonds and peanuts I could put down. If you guys want to see that. Comment nut below. All right. Got a little bit more nuts left in the bag, but I think I'm gonna get on over these. Oreos right here. Chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos. I got the rest of this jar of cookie butter left too, so I gotta you know, improvise here. I get to this point in calorie challenges, everyone, where my my brain just stops working and I just start thinking with my stomach instead. And so, like, that's what that's what I'm coming up with right now. You know. Well. Oreos and the shaker down. I have about half of this pack left, so I'm just gonna save that for my midnight snack. I won't actually be eating that for my midnight snack. The only thing I'm gonna be eating for my midnight snack is gonna be water, along with tons of regret. Just like that, everybody. That's gonna be meal number two. Man, that was uh, nutty. So, looks like we are uh, halfway through right now. And it is 3.53 right now. The next half of this challenge is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, right now, I do not feel the greatest at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal up there. Macros will be up there as well, along with the food list. Now, everybody, it's time for me to move my body because I feel like a beached whale right now. Kind of. I mean, I kind of feel like a walking water balloon and a beached whale. Yeah, I think, I think you get the picture. This is usually the point during my calorie challenges where I go to the gym. But right now, I am most definitely not going to be going to the gym because your boy is very full. I've said this time and time again, but activity during these calorie challenges and movement is very, very important, mainly for digestion purposes. As I've already said in this video, I've got a big challenge planned this year, so I've really got to start practicing on this stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this walk with my dog and then it's time for the final push. Dun, 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 dun. It's KFC time. Hi there. Can I get two orders of popcorn chicken, please? Thanks, Mom, man. Have a good one. Next stop. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm hating it. It's gonna be the smallest McDonald's order I've ever made. Can I get two medium orders of fries, please? That was gonna be it. Unless you have more sanity for me, because I'm running out of mine. Uh, I feel like right now, all I want to do is chug a gallon of water. I have like two and a half hours left in this craziness. I'm gonna really have to cram in the calories when I get home. Thanks a lot. Take care. Oh, they smell amazing.
This Pizza Hut pizza has just over 2,000 calories in it. That's just not gonna cut it. I really love McDonald's fries. I also happen to really enjoy cheese. I also really love KFC's popcorn chicken. So why not combine them with a stuffed crust pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut? The end product was actually pretty spectacular. I also realized that I've never made a dessert pizza before. So why not try it right now? For my topping, I decided to use Reese's peanut butter cups, a Snickers bar, and a giant Heath bar. Now, like I said, I've never made a dessert pizza before, so I was hoping this was gonna come out good. I made sure to add a lot of Nutella, my crushed up chocolate bars, and a personal favorite of mine, Reese's Pieces. As my stomach capacity is becoming increasingly limited, a high calorie shake is mandatory. I started with a pint of haagen ice cream, followed that up with some Nesquik, some peanut butter, and finished it off with some half and half. I've got a lot of calories to make up, so I have to get this shake down. All right, everybody, here we are. It is um, about that time for the uh, final push. Right now, I just, actually, you know what? I'm, you've probably seen me like this before, so. Uh, but anyways, everybody, I have this ultimate pizza right here, which is packed full of calories. I decided I wanted to go ahead and get that. It's a pepperoni stuffed crust pizza topped with cheese, McDonald's fries, popcorn chicken, extra cheese, and then I decided to make this homemade, actually semi-homemade because I didn't make the crust, dessert pizza. I also have some Ben & Jerry's half-baked peanut butter ice cream over here as well, and I have my shakes. I have some trail mix, and then I had to go out and get something very, very special for this video. Since this is a calorie challenge and I don't really ever get to eat this dessert very often because it's so high calorie, I save it specifically for videos like this. I went out and got some delicious, tasty, amazing baklava. Uh, I completely lost track of time. So it looks like I have 37 minutes left in this challenge. Everyone, I gotta just shut up and just start eating before I do though. Just so you all know it's the same day and everything. Without further ado, everybody, it's time to get into this last final meal. This is meal. Number three. You know what I think I want to do is start with this ice cream. Now that is a good looking top right there. When I'm delirious, my jokes just get even dumber. Um, oh man. All right, everybody, it's time to get into this. I mean, this flavor is not bad, but nothing touches the original peanut butter cup. Oh wait, Ben & Jerry's down. I'm gonna make it away on this piece right here. Just check it out, everybody. W. Oh, W. Intensity is not my friend right now. I'm surprised it took this long for me to use ranch in this challenge. Alright, everybody, well. First part of the shake is done. I'm not gonna lie, right now I'm just completely over this pizza. It looks like I have about 25 minutes left, but I'm gonna get to this dessert pizza now because I actually wanna see if this is gonna taste good. So that's our dessert pizza right there. I just gotta say, if this video gets 50,000 likes, I'll do as many calories as possible challenge for longer than eight hours. Maybe like 24 hours, possibly even 48 hours. That would be absolutely ridiculous. So if you wanna see that, Go ahead and give the video a like. And while you're down there giving the video a like, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, so let's get into this. as far as I'm gonna get into that dessert pizza. Now it's just all about easy calories. 
Thank goodness for nuts. And trail mix. Oh, oh man. I just gotta think healthy fats. Bro. <clears throat> 17 minutes left. I don't know if I can do this. Goodness gracious. It looks like with the quarter I have left of that pizza and the three eighths of that pizza that I have left, I just need to get this down, the rest of the shake, and my baklava, and they'll be just over 35,000 calories. I feel delirious. I feel like my stomach is detached from my body. <clears throat> Trail mix is down. Oh my this is by far one of the craziest challenges I've ever done. I have eight minutes left. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight aqua bus. I do this. If I don't do this, or if I do do this, regardless, I can guarantee all of you, I'm gonna have one incredibly large food baby after this. So be sure to stick around for that. And also, be sure to stick around to see what my post-challenge weight is gonna be. Might actually hit 30 pounds gain. <laughs> Definitely not something to be bragging about, but welcome to my channel. <sighs> just pretend like it's a vegetable. Or just a piece of salmon. Just pretend here. Four minutes and 50 seconds left. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, everybody. I really don't know if I can be able to do this. I can say this right now. I am definitely full. Your boy is full. I feel like I have chocolate coming out of my eyeballs. Oh, two minutes and 50 seconds left. say is that if you made it up into this point in the video just go ahead and comment down below crazy because this entire challenge was just all sorts of crazy and just like that everyone with 41 seconds left the challenge has been completed i'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories officially consumed right up there the total macros will be right up there as well along with the food list for everything Ooh. oh man Wow. Well, everyone, it's time for me to show you all my post-challenge weight. If you enjoyed this insane calorie challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and put another one similar to this one right up there if you all to enjoy as well, along with the food challenge playlist that I have on my channel. It would mean the world to me if you gave the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.